What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered, part number six. Thank you guys so much again for all the love and the support off of this series. Um, Alan Wake 2 is coming around the corner. I'm very excited about it, and uh, sadly, your girl needs to pre-order it eventually. I'm hoping at the end of uh, September, I will be pre-ordering it uh, to get ready, because October is going to be a big month for us gamers, especially Mirage coming out. I am going to be definitely playing a lot of that when it comes out. Obviously going to be playing it on PC first, because, uh, well, uh, place our... What is it? Ubisoft Plus, I guess you could say, on PC. It's really fun. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited uh, for Alan Wake 2 to come out. And uh, it's going to be a lot more scarier than this one. Um, this is still a blind playthrough for me. Uh, like I said, I haven't really... I mean, I was so excited because I had so much stuff going on. and played with Maya um, Issa from uh, Telltale's um, The Expanse series uh, on Man of Medan. That was exciting. We did that last Friday. I'll be eventually uploading that video soon because it is long. And uh, I don't want you guys to... Because we did like three hours? three Four hours or three hours? We had a, <laughs> we had a bit of uh, glitches. Uh, you know, like... Because, <laughs> you know, Dark Picture Anthology games... Any game's not perfect without glitches, but there were funny glitches. She enjoyed the game. She really did. Um, I enjoyed it, uh, playing with her as well. It was bloody an honor, honestly. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously, um, I'm hoping, I think, I would say October for the bonus episode to come out for The Expanse. I don't know yet. Uh, we had Mortal Kombat coming out, or we had Mortal Kombat, which I was grinding the crap out of it. I'm still, I'm still doing the invasion stuff, still uploading my... Um, first playthrough of the storyline. I'm a big fan of the storyline and uh, really enjoying it better than um, Mortal Kombat 11 storyline, Mortal Kombat X storyline, and uh, 9 is now a nightmare for me because I cannot beat, um, not, we're not going to call him General Xiao, but uh, <laughs> he's an asshole in Mortal Kombat 9. And I kid you not, I switched over to Xbox One, then I switched over to 360. It was a bloody nightmare. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't really beat his ass up. <laughs> Doesn't matter what, what controller I use or what console to do, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, uh, again, I apologize. I even uploaded now the way because we had all those fun stuff going on. Because uh, September, mainly, I was so excited for Mortal Kombat coming out. So Mortal Kombat 1. Um, and uh, I know I need to get back into AC uh, 1 uh, to get ready for Mirage, obviously. Uh, don't worry, I will get back to that as well. Uh, switching over to console to PC is very difficult, I guess you could say. I'm not really used to mouse and keyboard on PC, um, which, uh, you know, I'm more of a console player, but regardless, I, I still have fun. All right, anyways, last time in Alan Wake, we uh, were dealing with the, the popos. I'm going to say popos. I, I should not say popos, um, regardless for me wearing the uniform for two and a half years ago <laughs> as, a, as an excluder, as an excluder, <laughs> explorer, explorer. Okay, cadet, whatever one calls it these days. Um, yes, embarrassing. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, I did that half of my life and um, gave up on it. Kind of learning. Well, kind of gave up on it a long time ago. Um, it was during high school, though. It was really fun. Very fun experience. It's like you're in a Boy Scouts kind of thing. Anyway, back in Alan Wake, uh, we were running away from the popos. We were running away from the police. And, well, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get a chance to... Well, we're still running away from them, I think. And we're at somewhere, and then... These shadow figures decided to attack us out of nowhere. I know, crazy. Uh, yeah, so let's get right back into Alan Wake Remaster. Again, thank you guys so much uh, for enjoying this series. Uh, the, it is blowing up. YouTube is kind of broken at the moment, because when I was uploading my Mortal Kombat... It says I have zero likes, but yet again, I have two likes. Ain't that weird? YouTube is ridiculous sometimes. Anyways, let's just get right back where we left off before Allie starts yip-yapping. Continuing where I left off. Alright, so... We are, uh... 
We actually went up top there over there, so now we need to drive to the cold m or the cold mines. Go to the cold mines. That's a fancy car. I should actually get that car. Hold on. Yeah, I should get that car actually. I'm not used to the thing over here. Alright, let me see if I know these controls now. Let's grab this fancy wancy car. Ooh. She fancy. I like this car. I like this car. I really do. Alright, off we go. Should see what's in there, just in case. Sunset, so it's gonna be probably dark anytime. Let's see if there's any manual script or anything in here. Uh, I don't think I see anything. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. Oh. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Is this what it is? Did I went the right way? Ooh, manual strip. See? I was right. When you look around, you'll know. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special. But Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Okay, cool. And like I said, we're on episode uh, three of this, and uh, also, I am not trying to get platinum for this game, but it's always good to look around. You may never know. If you miss some things, you gotta look around. Is there a stamina bar and I don't realize what what the stamina bar is? I think it's this way for the mines, right? Yeah. I'm still going to the mines. Watch me go across the cliff. Up. Uh, I mean, I was close there. I lost a <laughs> Bright Falls coal coal mine visiting center. No can do. And there we go. I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> Not really. Go to the cold mines. It's down here. Ooh, wait, read. Uh, no, I don't want to read. Realize how bad my reading is most of, most of the time during like the nighttime. It's like so bad. It's like I'm butchering words, and I always do butcher words. Ooh, manual scrap. I almost missed that too. Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. True, true on that. Okay. We're not gonna read that. It's too much reading. We're going up top. And we shall enter. There we go. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. Mm hmm. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. He's bored. No way of this is what you do when you're alive. bored. It was killing me. <laughs> and it's nighttime. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Well, shit. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? <sighs> it's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, 
Before I kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Locked. Oh. Oh. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Oh, that 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 pooped me. That 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 scared me. Yeah, that that scared me. Holy shit, that scared me. Okay. Locked. Why is it fucking locked? What am I supposed to do? Just jump? <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Ooh. Grab the batteries, grab this, grab the thermos. I don't know why the hell we need these damn thermoses. Okay. So, now what? Go through this. Ah, secret la or hatch. Caution. I mean, we're going to into the mines, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the manual script. Right here. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Hold on. No, I'm gonna spam that ammo crap. Revolver. Alright. He missed big time. Oh, hello, big boy. Flashbangs will help. Oh, I need more ammo. Can I go back to that area? Oh, I think I can, right? Yeah, I can. Grab more ammo. 42 ammo. So I can only have 42 ammo. That sucks. Oh well. Let's go. Let's see if there's anything around here. No, there's not. Oh, flip sakes. Flashbang. Perfecto. All right. Up. 
climb. Yeah, fall. Good job, Allie. Great job. Okay. Them. God damn it. Like a freaking flashbang. Good. There we are. That side. What the hell? I feel like I've The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Yeah, electrocutions. Not good. Frick, frick, frick. <laughs> Fuck, I'm out of ammo. Alright, run for it. Run for it, run for it, run for it. Fuck this shit, run for it. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. Oh, I'm out of ammo, come on, dude. Yeah, I can't do nothing, I ran out of ammo. Yeah, I really cannot not, not have done nothing about it. I ran out of ammo that quick.
Jesus Christ. Jeez Louise. Very badly. Oh, I found 25 of those. Interesting. I honestly did not expect to find Some that much. Some of the taken retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Follow the arrow. See if there's anything else. Okay, follow the arrow. So we're gonna go this way. The arrow lead. it open uh, okay just gonna get the gate open over here use it There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. sign go hang on oh, 
back really quick. I said follow the arrow. Where did the sign go? Let's see if we find another cache. I don't know. <laughs> Figures. I was trying to run. I'm trying to run away. I can't really, I can't really do, I can't really fucking do shit. off. I, 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 I can't really, I fucking can't do nothing. Oh, flashbangs. I was like, where the fuck is these flashbangs at? I was like, oh, wait a second. So there, there's the flashbangs. Flashbangs are right there. So what I'm gonna do, throw a flashbang. God, it makes my life so easy. You know, I should have known this since I first played this game, but like knowing about oh yeah, the flashbangs, the flashbangs will help you God, I feel so stupid Oh, there's a manual script right there I almost missed that I stared through the bars of the jail cell Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet looking as ill as I felt Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. 
all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Checkpoint. Going to where the light is right there. I have to go this way anyways. I have all this. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, mm -hmm. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh. Switch. Thank you. I feel safe now. <laughs> Five seconds later, saying that I feel safe. safe. <laughs> I feel super safe now. Or I just waste my bullets off the fucking gun. Alright, you know what? Oh, there's an easy way to deal with these fellas. Like, shooting them to, don't really do that much. Fuck this. I'm out. Fuck that. I'm out of ammo, bro. Okay. The dark presence was moving Jesus ahead of me Christ. in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? And the graveyard. Oh. The graveyard shift becomes closer. Well, I'm fucked. I don't have, um... <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. I, I can't really do nothing. If you're out of ammo, you're fucking screwed. Okay, good. Now it gives me fucking ammo. Last time when I died, I didn't get no ammo.
one bullet left. Jesus Christ. Where's the shack? The shack had something. This one I was getting interrupted by them. I got lights. Oh, I should have used that. God damn it. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna end off here. Thank you guys again for watching. These guys do enjoy this. Leave a like, subscribe, and as always. Peace out, you good. See you guys. Oh, in the Oh, jeez. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in here.